Hey bestie, hey boo thing. I am so glad that you are here. Okay, I'm coming begging, okay? I'm coming begging because a friend in need is a friend indeed, right? Okay, so if you have not already taken care of these little tiny housekeeping things, I would love for you to do that now. All right, I need you to please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, I hope that by the end of the episode, at least you will have liked the video, comment in the comment section, and last but certainly not least, would you please share this episode with someone that you know would enjoy it also. It's coming up in... mom of four, plant mama of seven, music lover with a banging playlist, and two left feet, entrepreneur of over 17 years, and though a professional, y'all, I'm still an around the way girl at heart, earthy, eclectic, free spirit, a few piercings, and a few tats, road trip lover, random as f- mm, you fill in the blank. Living, learning, loving, praying, and laughing my way through this amazing adventure called life. And I am here to help you do the same. Hi, I'm Tiffany, and this is Life Unscripted. Welcome. Now, let's jump into this week's amazing episode created especially for you and yours. Hey friends, thank you so much for joining me for yet another episode of the Life Unscripted Podcast. Um, I want to start off by just giving a shout out to you guys that um, are part of the community over on Instagram and for you guys that are part of my community on LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter I appreciate you. I do, I do, I do. I love you. And um, I'm just so grateful that you are part of my network. Um, And so I definitely want to give a shout out to my mama and my babies before we go another further. And uh, most of all, I just want to tell God, thank you just for another opportunity to do this. So all that being said, how are you feeling? Like, how is your day? How has your week been? You know, really, like, how are you? And I'm serious when I ask that. I know you might think, like, for real, how do you know and how do you care? We're we're far apart, you know. Um, we're out there. We're distant in internet, internet land somewhere. But that's not true. I do care. And uh, if you want to share with me how you're feeling, how you're doing, what you're up to, you know, share some some good news, some good vibes. And even if you're feeling down and need a little prayer request, please like go to the website and um, hit me up. Like there's there's a spot for you to leave comments or whatever. And let me know like that seriously, seriously. OK, guys, um, because I do care and I'm proud of you and I'm rooting for you and I'm praying for you. So, yeah, write in or send a voicemail. There's an option for you to um, leave a voice message as well. So do that. All right. So let's get into today's episode. Typically, you guys know that I love to talk about um, knowing better and doing better and being better and feeling better and living better and all that good stuff because I'm all about better, 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 better. Right. Um, And a part of that process does not have to be so serious. A lot of times I'm talking about things that we can do to implement Um, strategies into our businesses or into our lives so that we can kind of grow as a business or grow as an individual and all this and and that. So a lot of that stuff is kind of serious stuff and it's work to do, but it's work that is um, worthwhile and meaningful. But today I want to talk about putting some play in your day. Today I want to talk about just having a good time. Today I want to remind you that it is okay to put the ink pen down. It is okay. In fact, it's not just okay. It is necessary 
for you to back away from the desk. Leave the laptop, the tablet, the phone alone. And I'm going to tell you why I needed to say that today. So recently I um, put out a survey and it's just a few short, short questions. As a matter of fact, I welcome you to give me your input on my survey questions as well. You can find that at organizedenergy.co backslash high friend organizedenergy.co backslash high friend and you'll find the survey and you can take it as well and I would love to know your input but I asked a few professionals um, within my community of professionals on LinkedIn um, you know just give me some of your challenges that you're facing with with achieving uh, work-life balance or the work-life blend or whatever that is. I'm not going to argue with you guys about whether or not work-life balance exists, whatever, you know, <laughs> but whatever that looks like for you, blending, balancing, whatever, uh, just mastering time management. You know, what are your challenges when it comes to that? And what are your challenges when it comes to operating a small business or functioning in the workplace or, and or functioning in the workplace? So just a few questions, just three. And um, the answers were startling. And in fact, they began to be repetitive. And one professional after another, in so many words, began expressing the same sentiments. Some people, many people were saying how they feel guilty to leave work. They feel guilty when they have to punch out because they know there's so much still that needs to be done. And a lot of people were saying that they just can't turn their mind off, their thoughts off. They're constantly racing as it pertains to work or business where they can't really even legitimately enjoy their family and enjoy the simple times that have nothing to do with productivity and work and business and all that. And a lot of people were saying that they're having trouble balancing um, work and life and um, or even blending it or however you all want to do that. I ain't gonna go there with (laughs) y'all. But the point is, I think from the results I've received so far, um, the consensus has been that people are not having as much a good time as they would like. And when they do, they feel guilty, like they should be working on something. Um, And they're concerned about you know, what's going on at work, even when they're at home. And uh, that's, that's concerning. That's concerning. And, uh, and I definitely can relate. And so I've been very intentional about um, stepping away. I've been very intentional about saying, you know what, there's only so much that's going to get done. And after that, it's done for the day. My babies need me. I need them. Like I probably need them more than they need me, you know? And so Um, That being said, it has become imperative for me to take time away from building business and working. And um, I have found my greatest joys just with, you know, my time with God and my time with my babies. And so I've just, you know, began to just, not begin, it's always been a part of my life, but, you know, I kind of look up and I look in. And then I look out at them. So it's me and God and then it's me and me so that I can then have something built up on the inside to give for the children and I. You know, that's just the way it's been for me. And then, of course, I have something to give to you guys um, through this podcast and through my services, you know, because y'all know I'm not just a podcaster. OK, <laughs> I actually do have a job, y'all. Um, and for some of you all who don't know that, uh, I am a um business consultant. I'm a coach. So I coach on on business and also on work-life balance. That's what I do. So I'm an accountability partner, a coach, you know, a a workshop facilitator, whatever you want to call it. In all those areas, that's what I do. My specialty is business development and personal development, um, which mainly is like a holistic type of approach that I take to that. So those are my passions and that's what I do. And if you ever, ever, ever need help with 
um, anything pertaining to your business or anything pertaining to your holistic development, self-care, work-life balance, time management, that kind of stuff, you know, life coachy kind of stuff, reach out to me. It would be an honor and a pleasure to work with you um, or to review a few strategies with you. But that's not what we're here for today. Um, I want to kind of go over just a couple of examples of what it looks like to step away from the desk, put the phone down, um, the laptop, the paper, the pen, the the whatever, the meetings, let it go sometimes. So intentionally, for instance, if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll see that I took a road trip randomly um, on Sunday. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, well, let me kind of go back and say these podcast episodes are evergreen. So, um, they're relevant pretty much whenever. So you guys are probably like Sunday. Okay. What was the weather then? You know, well, at the time of this recording, Sunday was like beautiful, beautiful weather. And it was kind of beginning to usher us into fall. And so it was sunny skies and it was like 73 degrees. It was perfect. And, um, the kids were like, mom, you know, can we go somewhere today? Like, it's so pretty outside. What can we do? And uh, I really wanted to get some work done, guys. Like, I really had some things on my desk that needed to get knocked out as I prepared for the week. And as I got caught up on a few things that I kind of fell behind on in the previous week. Um, and so I thought, I really got to get some work done. And then I thought about it just with like, just in two seconds. I was like, you know what? Mm-mm. Not today. A, it's Sunday and I should be resting and relaxing and just enjoying. Why am I working? And two, they deserve this. I deserve this. And we need to get away. So literally we jumped in the car. I went and had the tires checked for the car and whatever. Made sure everything was good. I gassed up. We hit the road and um, we drove um, about two hours and got to a nice little place. And we, you know, rode around. We did some sightseeing. We ate some good food. We enjoyed the music, which was so nice, guys. Like, when's the last time you took a nice road trip? You know, a good two-hour drive just to pretty much nowhere. You know, somewhere, but nothing significant. Just riding, going to the next big city outside of wherever you may be. Just enjoying the weather, just being mindful, you know, just watching the cars on the road, just listening to like some fun music in the car, just riding, y'all just riding, feeling the breeze, you know, just enjoying. If you don't go alone, if you bring your family or a friend or someone or a significant other, just enjoying good conversation, laughter, enjoying their company, just enjoying that they're there, just riding, no real plans for when you get to where you're going. Find something good to eat. You know, walk around somewhere, do some sightseeing, just take in nature. Just those moments, those moments, you know, they matter. They matter because once they're gone, they're not coming back. I always tell you all this, and I even say it in the closing of the show that time is our greatest commodity. And once we spend it, we cannot get it back. And so these moments matter. And so I want you to think about that. So one example is to take a road trip. It doesn't have to be elaborate. Doesn't have to cost a lot of money. I mean, it might cost you the gas, the time, and a couple dollars to get something to eat, you know? Um, but in addition to that, taking time away might look like just playing a board game with your babies or with your significant other. Um, gosh, we've been playing categories and we've been playing spades and, you know, just different little card games. And that has felt so good. You know, just taking that time, you know, in the back of your mind, it's like, ah, I don't have time for this. I really got to get this project done. No, you do not. Like, yes, you do. I get it that the project needs to be done. But your family needs you. They deserve you. And I think that giving your time is like the best gift you could ever give to them. Give them you. Give them you. Not the latest shoes, the latest clothes, the latest video games or electronics or the most elaborate trips and whatever else. Yeah, those things are nice, but you. 
And not just you doing it with them, but really being present when you're doing it with them. Like really laughing and meaning the laugh. Not laughing and playing, but in the back of your mind, like, oh, I hope this is over soon. I got to get back to work. No. Soak up that moment and be there in that moment. You know, um, other examples that might look like like my my baby girls. Well, I say baby girls. I've got one that's 20 and one that's seven. <laughs> um, that's my daughter's. Um, I've got four kids, but the two girls, um, those are their ages. And so drastically different in age, but they are like the best of friends. And so we've been doing self-care Saturdays. And that looks like literally painting each other's toes, you know, doing little mini facials, Painting on canvases or painting um, flower pots, planters, you know, it just looks like relaxing with popcorn and watching a movie, watching cartoons on Saturday evening, Saturday nights, watching Hamilton or something else. Um, It just looks like doing much of nothing and loving every minute of it. That's what it looks like. I need you to get there. I need you to do that. Can you do that for me? Can you please play a board game? Do some kind of art or craft. Get out of the house. Take a walk. Take a jog. You know, call somebody special. Can you please do that for me? Can you do it for you? Will you please do it for the people that are special in your life? Um, so putting a little play in your day can be so simple it doesn't have to be expensive but it's so rewarding and so I want you to think about that I want you to not feel guilty when you walk away from the desk yes things need to be done and yes there are deadlines to meet I totally get it but if you are not healthy mentally well sane if you are not filling up your cup and you're constantly operating from an empty vessel, eventually you're going to crack. You're going to crack. Don't do that. Do not do that. Fill yourself up. I want you to have fun. I want you to laugh. I want you to goof around. I want you to have some fun conversation. Okay? And so... Um, as a matter of fact, let me, let me do a plug here. If you are looking for some fun conversation, um, so my good friends over at the mind pop zone podcast, they have great conversation, the mind pop zone podcast and another plug for another set of podcasting friends. And I, um, pillow talk with the Mobleys. Pillow Talk with the Mobleys, Moments with the Mobleys. They are like a really awesome couple to follow and listen to on their podcast. So if you need something fun, funny, some good conversation, um, I want you to listen to those. Though They are fun. You know, I think they'll bring you some, um, you know, some, some laughter that you might have been missing out on, especially during times where we are being socially distant. It's just good to feel like you're having that water cooler conversation that you might be used to if you were in the office. And when you listen, let them know that I sent you. <laughs> let them know that I sent you. I'm super excited to know what you all think about their shows. I think you're going to just love them. So anyway, all that being said, um, so as a review, have fun. Don't you dare feel guilty for walking away and having fun. And then come back. And once you're refreshed, you will have something to offer that project, that business, that client, your job, you know, Um, that matters. So my question of the week for you is what are you going to do to put some play in your day? It might be double dutching, um, hopscotching, doing some retro nostalgic type of stuff. It might be just laying up in your bed in your house robe, having junk food, watching cartoons, trying to get that Saturday morning cartoon feel back, you know, whatever that looks like doing like playing spades online. I love spades plus, but going online and playing spades plus with some friends, that sounds like fun, right? Um, But let me know, like write into me And let me know what you're going to do or what you already do to put some play in your day. Okay. So um, that being said, I think that's it, you guys. I think that's it. All right. I love you.
Don't forget to go to organizedenergy.co backslash hi friend and uh, complete that survey for me. I would love it. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram at life unscripted um, podcast. <laughs> Instagram is life unscripted podcast. Twitter is life unscripted P. Um, the Facebook group is life unscripted podcast after party. And I'm on LinkedIn. It's organized energy coaching and consulting. So I hope you got all that stuff. Um, yeah, but I hope that you have a great week. Rate me, rate my show on Apple Podcasts. Will you do that for me? Go to Apple Podcasts and rate the show. Go over to Google, like Google it, Google it and go to my Google page. There's a there's actually a Google page for Life Unscripted Podcast. Go there and leave a review if you would. I love y'all. Okay, talk to you soon. Well, that's another amazing episode in the books. I appreciate you stopping by and listening because I do this for you. Now, it's your turn to join the conversation. Please weigh in on this episode by visiting organizedenergy.co backslash podcast and do two things. One, leave a written or audio comment or questions regarding today's conversation. And two, let your voice be heard by casting your vote in this week's poll based on this episode. And now that we're family, let's stay connected. Still, go to that same link, organizedenergy.co backslash podcast. And join my Love Shine community. Why Love Shine? Because it's all about love and it's all about light over here at the Life Unscripted Podcast. Or you can find me on your own simply by visiting Facebook. You'll go to Organized Energy Consulting, find our community and groups, and then join the Life Unscripted Podcast after party. Also on Instagram, find me at Life Unscripted Podcast. On Twitter, it's Life Unscripted P. And show a little love by sharing this episode with a friend or two or three. Speaking of showing love, before I get out of here, I got to remind you of something. I want you to always remember that self-love is one of the best forms of love. Because no matter who comes, who goes, no matter who chooses you, who doesn't, who forgives you and who doesn't, who values you and who doesn't, so long as you choose you and you love you and you see value in you, and you take time each and every day to celebrate yourself. Take time right now and write this love note to yourself. And not only do I want you to write it daily, but I want you to recite it daily in the mirror. Repeat after me. So you say your name and I'm going to say mine. Dear Tiffany, I love you. I forgive you. I accept you. I choose you. You have worth. You have purpose. You have value. You matter to me. And you matter to God. My words, my thoughts, my decisions today will prove this. Tiffany, you're already winning. You are already blessed. Keep going. Do not give up because the very best is yet to come. All right, love shines. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Time is a commodity and once it's spent, we can never get it back. So I truly appreciate you spending just a little bit of yours with little old me. That's a wrap until next time. I want you to know that I love you. I'm praying for you and I want nothing but blessings, love and light for you and yours. Have a great week, guys. Hi, do you feel like you have way too much on your plate to get accomplished and very little time to get it all done? Is anxiety like on 1000 right now? Take a deep breath and woosa and then reach out to me because I am a trusted confidant and accountability partner and I can help you master time management and work-life balance as a professional. 
And because I specialize in helping to develop brands and the professionals behind them, I could also help you with your small business. So whether you're still in the conceptual stages of the business or you're trying to figure out exactly how to launch, how to brand it, how to market it, how to look good, and how to operate efficiently so that you're working smarter and not harder, I'm still your girl. For more information about how I can help you, find me at organizedenergy.co, where I am helping to develop brands and the professionals behind them. It is awesome to listen to my show, but wouldn't it be amazing if you could launch your very own Go from listening to launching when you pick up my new book called Is This Thing On? The Super Simple Guide to Planning, Launching, and Scaling Your Podcast. And of course, it was written by a podcaster for new and aspiring podcasters. Building a brand and operating a business can get a little hectic sometimes. I mean, there's a million things to do and you only have two hands, but not to fret. I've got some goodies for you. I want you to visit organizedenergy.co slash spill the tea. Organizedenergy.co slash spill the tea. I have curated a list of some of the favorite tools and resources that I use as I operate my business that have been amazing for me. They have helped me to save time. They have helped me to build my team. They have helped me to stay connected with my people. And I absolutely love so many of these tools. I want to share them with you and it's free to download. So again, go to organizedenergy.co slash spill the tea so that I can help you get started working smarter and not harder.